All right, guys, so I'm filming on my phone because I'm just super busy today. It's the day before my next uh, Spirit JP Drift event, and uh, we're moving the Datsun truck today over to the garage where the motor is. So, uh, yeah, there it is in all its glory. Um, looks a little different from the picture I showed you guys. Obviously, it doesn't have doors on it or a tailgate or anything like that. So, yeah, but we're getting it over there. Um, like I said, I have the event tomorrow, so I probably won't get back to this for a couple days, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get on this real soon and uh, get that motor mocked up in the engine bay, and then we gotta figure out how to fix our floor pans and the other rust on the Datsun. Um, I honestly just haven't really worried about that because we're probably gonna have to cut out most of the firewall and the trans tunnel and all kinds of other crap anyway, probably the fenders out of the engine bay, so. You know, I haven't really been too worried about the rust um, until we figure out what we can cut out and what we need to save and so on and so on. So, yeah, uh, we'll get into it in the next day or two, which for you guys is probably going to be like two seconds. All right, guys, so here is the Datsun truck. I have, uh, yeah, it looks a little rough. Don't be discouraged. I have all the parts for this in my shed, so... Um, the doors are actually sitting inside right here. The hood's right there. The tailgate's right there. But, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty nice. As you can see, it's kind of stanced out right now. It, the front sits like the back does, but because it has no motor in it, obviously, there's no weight up there. So, um, it looks pretty good right now. I kind of like the way it sits, but obviously we're going to have to do something because right now there's like eight inch blocks in the black in the back and um, that's not going to work for our drag racing. So we're probably going to end up doing a four link suspension in the back and um, getting rid of a lot of this crap like this rear bumper. We'll probably just make some kind of lip to go down there. Um, I also do have the chrome front bumper that goes on like right down here. But I don't want to use that either, so we're probably going to make some kind of just flat metal panel to go across there. I do have the grill that goes in, which is really nice. And um, that's probably about the only piece I actually want to put back on the front because I love the grill on this truck. So, yeah. But what we're going to do is I'm going to, I got the garage cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and push this back into the garage. And then uh, I don't really want to know what we're going to do after that. I... I kind of like just haphazardly measured with a tape measure like what we had going on in here. It's going to be a tight fit. Um, it looks like the motor's probably going to fit in this space, but there's a couple things I'm worried about, and that's the steering box here um, is going to be, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to clear the headers or what's going to happen with that. Um, I really wanted to put my turbo or turbos in these holes here, which is where one of the headlights are, comes out in the grill, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that either because um, the motor basically is going to come all the way from front to back. So there's obviously no way, I don't think the radiator is going to fit up here, the intercooler is not going to go up here, the water air exchanger, whatever we use isn't going to go up here. Um, I don't really know. So. Or we're just gonna have to just just start putting it in there and, and see what we can make happen and what's gonna work and what's not but I don't know we'll make it happen I am getting so excited so it fits sort of um, right now I have two issues first of all the crankshaft pulley is sitting on the frame right now so that's obviously no good I need a little bit of clearance on that I think that I could probably raise well I don't know that's that's looks like it's pretty much where I need to be to clear the hood too um, obviously I'm not running the truck intake I'm running a low ram intake so the intakes not much higher than those coil packs um, so I would probably be able to clear the hood right now but my second problem is as you can see right in there the oil pan is hitting that cross member. So, and then obviously right now my motor is backed up against the firewall. So, we're gonna need to cut out 
the firewall basically um, so we can get this motor back about another I don't know two or three inches and then that'll actually clear my crankshaft pulley and it'll sit behind that frame rail and uh, that will clear the oil pan past that cross member and it'll actually allow me to get the motor down a little bit lower um, as you can see the mounts that used to be on this motor are almost to the plates that were existing for the old motor and they actually almost line up so once we get this motor back another couple inches we might just have to make some new motor mounts but keep the existing mounting plates um, I don't know about the stability of those existing mounting plates. We might end up cutting those out anyway and putting new, like, stronger boxed-in mounts attached to that frame. But, um, I don't know. We'll figure that out once we figure out how this motor is going to fit in here. So, it's a little hard to see, but I drew this line around here. And that's basically where the motor was sitting when I just had it sitting in the truck like that. Um... I showed you my problems. Um, I'm basically just going to cut some of that firewall out so that we can slide the motor back another two inches or so. Um, I have to cut out the whole trans tunnel anyway, so I'm probably going to go ahead and do that while we're at it. And I'm probably also going to cut some of this front off here. So that way it just makes it easier to get the motor in. Um, the only thing that I believe I really need this for is for my hood latch. So we might just... Uh, we're probably gonna end up cutting this off and then just making some kind of removable bar that'll go across there that we can attach our hood to. So, shouldn't be too bad. Alright, so right now the motor is not attached, obviously, but the LS mounts are sitting on the plates for the original motor. Um, it's not going to work, obviously. You can see there how they're just kind of sitting on there right now, and then I have the jack under the oil pan just kind of holding the uh, motor stable. And... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that without light, but we got plenty of room for our intake manifold. We're definitely going to be using the short ram. Um, there's no way we'll fit the high ram. Um, other than that, everything looks pretty good. Um, the exhaust manifolds, I don't know what's going to happen with them. I might try to fit them back in there here in a second and just see what it looks like. But... 
We can't go too much lower with the motor. We can go about an, maybe an inch lower. But as you can see, if you can see, it's getting kind of close down here to our steering uh, tie rods. I mean, uh, not our tie rods, our steering linkage and stuff like that. So we can't go too much lower, but uh, I mean, I'm good with this because it's going to clear. We got plenty of room for our pulley here. And um, we might have to do something with that outlet on the water pump. But yeah, we're all good. And um, actually might even be able to fit a radiator up here. If that makes it easier to get this done, I might do that. I don't know. Or maybe we'll just save this whole space for an air-to-air -air intercooler or... Again, I don't know what we're going to do with that either. But, yeah, we're making good headway so far. Um, I don't think we're going to have to cut out all of the fender wells. But we're probably going to have to cut out this front section on both sides so that we can fit our turbos here if we still decide to go that way. Um, as in turbos out the front, I would really like to get them out these two holes in the grill. Um, when I come back the next day to work on this, I'm going to bring this grill so we can see you know, how all that lines up and what I can cut out of this front. I also don't, I'm sure you guys noticed or maybe not, um, while I was cutting this actual, this whole cab is not mounted to the frame race. Um, it's sitting where it's supposed to be, but the issue is right here. So that's one of the mounting points for the body. And as you can see, the floor plans are completely rusted out there. So that's another reason why I wasn't too worried about having to cut a bunch of this because we're going to have to redo all these floor pans anyway. So, yeah. Once we figure out about where the motor is going to sit and we figure out how to mark where the motor is going to sit, we're actually going to take this cab off and we're going to sit it outside. And then we'll make our engine mounts and transmission mounts and all that good stuff. And uh, it'll just make it a whole lot easier to work on. And then... Once we get that all done, we'll be replacing the floor pans, making a new trans tunnel, because as you can see, the old transmission tunnel is, is way down here, and the 4L80 is about 10 or 12 inches higher than that. So, um, yeah, we're going to be definitely cutting out a ton of this tunnel and making a new tunnel, and um, hopefully we still have leg room and it's not like super uncomfortable. So we'll figure all that out um, next time. I don't know if this is going to be the end of this video or not. But if it is, like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching my videos. And <laughs> I've had this truck for six or seven years with no motor in it. And I'm so happy it is finally getting a power plant. So I can't wait. I'll see you guys on the next one.